Hey, what's up guys? It's Cray, and um, today I have a tutorial for you guys, and it's how to motion track in Boju using After Effects and 740R12 or 11.5. And what motion tracking basically is, is what it will allow you to um, motion track and animate your 3D text, or your 3D object into your scene, mainly a COD clip or a real life clip or basically anything that you want to add 3D into, right? So before I get started, I'd just like to say that I have a sore throat, so I'm a little sick, and uh, I might be pausing the video in the middle because I have to cough or <laughs> my voice will like, uh, it would just like sink and like sound really weird or my voice will crack sometimes. <laughs> but um, yeah, also I'm, I've been working on intros and backgrounds all day, like for the past week. And I'm just trying to save up money for my Mac, and I'm about $180 uh, away from buying that. So once I get my Mac, um, I won't be accepting any more orders for like a long time, and I'll just be sticking to tutorials and helping you guys out. As you guys know, I give my Skype out to everyone, so if you guys don't have my Skype yet, uh, go to my channel and get that, uh, get my Skype info, add me. And if you have any questions or you would like to buy something or anything if you need help with a program cinema 4d after effects whatever illustrator whatever it be all these programs i know how to use fairly really really good actually photoshop illustrator vegas streamweaver after effects boju flash and cod 4 player vegas pro whatever yeah so i know how to use these programs fairly good if not really good but yeah let's get started so you're gonna want to open up after effects and once you open up After Effects, you're going to want to go to File, Import, File. And just look for your clip. And I have this clip my friend provided for me. It's not that much of a good clip, but yeah. And it's just a cinematic in COD 4. So once you have your clip, you put it in the timeline, and it's going to make a composition with the correct frame rate and the time length. So once you have that, you're just going to want to render this out as a... PNG sequence. So then you want to go to composition, add to render, and then go to output module, and then click the drop down arrow, click custom, and then go to format and change it to PNG sequence. And what this will do is it would create uh, one image, one file for each frame. So since there's 60 frames, it's 60 frames per second, that's going to create 60 frames for each second. So if this clip is five seconds long, it's going to create about 350 frames I believe three let me see yeah about 350 fr frames or 400 frames so then you once you have that you're gonna want to change the output module and you're gonna want to create a folder make sure you create a new folder so click your desktop right click new and then folder and then once you have that folder just name it whatever you want and then save it in that folder the wh the reason why this is important is because if you don't save it into a folder, you're going to have a bunch of images all over your desktop and it's going to fill up your desktop and then you'll have to zoom out to get the images because some of them will be hiding on the side right here and over here. So yeah, it's really important to create a folder. But for time's sake, because this is going to be a really long tutorial so I need you guys to bear with me, um, I already rendered it out so I don't have to render it, but once you do this, change it to PNG sequence and the output to your folder just click render and then render that out I already rendered mine out and once you render it you're gonna get a bunch of images like I say like I said so each of these is one frame so 60 of these will equal to one second so then now you're gonna want to go to Boju and if you don't have Boju uh, I'll try to give it to you guys I'll try to show you guys a video of where I got it from if I could find it still on YouTube and I'll put that video in the description but if I can't find it I'm really sorry I can't help you but yeah so you're gonna want to go to Boju and then go to uh, setup import sequence and then click the drop down go to user cray or whatever you are I don't know if you share your computer but whatever your username the computer you're using is called and then you go to desktop and then you go to whatever you name the folder and then you just click the first one, the zero 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 zero, not the zero zero one, but the first one. Click open, apply, and close. And you have it right here. And now what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to tell Boju the correct frame rate. So you want to go to setup, edit camera, and then change the frame rate to fifty nine point ninety four. But if you don't know what your frame rate is, you could just go to After Effects and then click the composition or the clip, 
and it will tell you right there 59.90. And I'll just use 59.94 because it's the closest, right? So then just click apply, close, and then now you're going to want to hit track feature. And this will take about a minute, but I'm just going to pause the video. And once it's done, I'll be back. All right, so I'm back now, and uh, it finished the track features. So once that's finished, you're just going to want to hit camera solve. Hit camera solve, then click start. And this is really simple. This is really fast. I mean, it's only like about 10 seconds. Uh, track feature took about a minute or so, maybe less. But yeah, camera solve is only about 10 seconds. And once it gets to 100, it's going to go to 100 again because it's just going to save the project file just in case it crashes or something. So let's just wait for that. And here it's saving the project. And now what you have are track points. So each of these are track points. And um, I just like to say that this, from this wall to around here, is the Z plane. From left to right, it's the uh, X plane. And from top to bottom, it's the Y plane. And it's something you learn in math. Or you can, it's the same thing as Cinema 40. This green arrow is the Y. This blue is the Z, and the red is the X. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to uh, select some track points where you're going to want your text. So if you want your text to be right here in the cinematic, you're going to want to click some track points that are right here. But I'm going to want mine to be somewhere on the left because there's a COD guy that w runs right here and jumps out this window. So I'm going to have to click some right here because if I put the text, he's going to run through it. Or I don't know if you have your cinematic for him jump. That would be pretty cool. So he jumps over the text or something. But yeah. So then just click track points. I'm just going to click this one. And by holding control and clicking these, you can click multiple track points. So I'll just click this one, this one, and that should be fine. And then you right click and then flag for export. And then you just go to export and then camera solve. And you're going to want to change, make sure you have a browse. You click browse, I mean, and then you uh, put it somewhere on your desktop or whatever. But I already did this just for the sake of time. And then you're going to want to change the, the export type to C Cinema 4D or 3DX Studio, uh, 3DS Studio, I mean 3D Studio Max or After Effects, but it will save it as a Maya, but that's all right. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So just save it as Cinema 4D. Make sure you click Export Flag Tracks Only, and then you click Save, and then it would save it. And once you do that, you can just go to Cinema 4D, File Open look for it. it's going to be called untitled project and then you just click ok and your track points are right there just play this and that's how it is let's just extend this and once you have that now what you can do is just import a text object and uh, then you're going to want to go to structure or functions I'm sorry fu functions and then transfer and then just click one of your track points and then it's going to take it down there and now what you can do is resize it if you need to or whatever and you can change the text name as well uh, add some caps to it uh, about like three or something you don't want it too big because the text isn't so big and then you can change the depth if you want about 100 should be fine uh, the font type I'll just use typography pro click OK and now what you're going to want to do is just click this light. I'm using 11.5 because I'm rendering something in R12. Or actually I'm not. But I thought it was. So I'm just going to go to this light and then background. And then you're going to want to open up a new material. Go to color. Click these three little dots, four little dots. I don't know how much it is. And then you're just going to want to click the first one that you render from After Effects. So it's like as my folder was PNG sequence, SF, whatever. And then you're just going to want to click the first image. Click no. Click the image. Go to animation. And click calculate. And it should give you the right frame rate. But um, as I said, mine was 60 frames per second. So it gave me 60 frames per second. And the end, it was 345 frames, as I said. So it's going to start from 0 frames to 345. So if this isn't right, you could just change this, and then you hit X, you put this to the background, and when you play it, I'll just play it somewhere around here. See, there's the COD guy, and that's what you have. And you can, you you might have to rotate the text manually to get it somewhere where you want, but yeah, it doesn't matter. You can do that, and 
see that looks about good so now you could just add a material to the text if you want uh, just do red I guess reflection for now I'll just lower this down a bit and then you can also add a ring light if you want if you have the grayscale gorilla light kit uh, overhead softbox or something and it looks a little plain because it doesn't have the shadows but I'll show you guys how to create shadows in After Effects so let's see how long this has been going for 10 minutes yeah it's pretty long but we're almost about done so then now you have this what you're gonna wanna do is make sure you hide the background and by hiding the background all you're gonna wanna do is double click these until there are two red dots these two red dots this will hide edit uh, the edit scene and the render scene you're supposed to only click one but I forget which one is the render one <laughs> but yeah so once you have that you're gonna wanna change the comp your render settings so output 128720 current frame all frames save it as a PNG sequence as well um, check alpha channel click interlace and then you're gonna wanna put it into a folder because it's gonna do the same thing so you're gonna wanna go to your desktop create a new folder I just named mine text and I already rendered it as I said for time's sake so you can just name it whatever you want um, 3d text or whatever cinematic and then put it in the folder and it's gonna create a bunch of frames as well so yeah you can do that um, the anti-aliasing change it to best effects you can add ambient occlusion global illumination just depends what you want excuse me and once you do that yeah, you can just hit render and then render that out, but I already rendered mine. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into After Effects and just get rid of this. All right. So then now you go to File, Import, File, and then you look for the text folder. Here it is, text folder. And then now what you can do is just put that over, and you have your text right there. And now when you move your scrubber, you'll see... It's lagging a little bit. You'll see the cod guy right there. And I should have rotated a little bit more, but yeah. So now what you want to do if you want to add some or hold on, let me pause the video, I have to cough. Okay, I'm back, sorry. So now what you're gonna want to do is just you're gonna want to um duplicate this. So you can just hold control C V and it'll duplicate it. Or you can go to edit, duplicate, whatever. Control D. Um, and once you have that, you're going to want to click this parent box, or my box is right here. Hold on. Whoa. Columns. I'll need my... Which one is it? I don't know. I'm sorry. It's already here. I didn't even see that. So then you're going to want to click this, the three-dimension one, and you're going to want to rotate it. Let's click the rotating actually before that I'm sorry you're gonna want to put generate fill and then you're gonna want to change this to black to the top layer the duplicated layer then you're gonna want to go to effect and then go to blur and then Gaussian blur and then just move this all the way up and now you can rotate it whoa <laughs> and you can just move this down somewhere right there and of course you're gonna wanna take your time and do this perfectly but I'm just trying to get this done because it's really early in the morning and I have to take my niece to daycare in a little bit so yeah just mess with the shadows wherever you want it of course you're going to want to spend time on this and try to get it perfect but yeah that's basically it and that's basically how you do this and you can also mess with the opacity of this so just click T and then lower the opacity of the shadows or yeah or you could just leave it and put it wherever you want but that's basically it so hopefully that you like you guys like this tutorial please don't forget to rate comment and if you're not subscribed to subscribe, check out my other videos. I have a bunch of great tutorials for you guys. And uh, let me know what kind of tutorials you guys would like to use. As I said, I know how to use all those programs on my desktop. So yeah, just let me know which one you guys would like a tutorial on. Something in Photoshop, Illustrator, 
or Dreamweaver, Flash, or something, just let me know. So, yeah, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe once again. And hopefully you guys learned something. And if you guys didn't or you guys are having trouble, post a comment. Message me on Skype or AIM. That's all I have at the moment. I don't have MSN. I'm really sorry. But, yeah. So I'll talk to you guys later. Hopefully this helped. And, yeah. Bye, guys.